Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. Girl, I just had hummus. Oh, I just had, listen, go to Trader Joe's, get the hummus, 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 I don't know how to say hummus, and they have like these chia seeds. Girl, hang on, let me show you, bitch. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Girl, you know that I'm always trying to put you onto something, girl, okay? I'm always trying to put you guys onto something. Hang on, bitch, hang on. I gotta, I gotta show my besties because girl listen right okay. girl best crackers they're the multi-grain crackers with sunflower and flax seeds okay it's delicious and they're hummus it is a uh, mediterranean style and their chimichurri sauce delicious okay ah! it's okay anyways girl we gotta talk about kylie jenner girl listen you guys know I'm always trying to put you onto things, right? All right, if you are new, my name is Sebastian. I spill pop culture tea videos every day. Hi. Right. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. So who, oh girl, I'm out of breath, bitch. Listen, if you are new, grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button, because we got to talk about Miss Kylie Jenner. Because allegedly, best friend, Miss Kylie Jenner is all about Mr. Timothy Chalamet and forgetting her friends. So let's read about it, right? Hang on. Mama's got to read. Okay, hang on. Are you comfortable? Okay, good. All right. So let's talk about it. You guys know Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner are still together, allegedly. But the article reads, Kylie Jenner becoming e increasingly detached. Girl, are you okay? What do you? Oh, okay. Uh, Kylie Jenner becoming incre increasingly detached and focused on Timothy Chalamet after shutting out almost all her girlfriends. <gasps> Kylie Jenner is becoming incredibly detached from her inner circle, according to sources, who claim that the reality star prefers to spend all her time with boyfriend Timothy Chalamet. The 27-year-old beauty mogul and her actor boyfriend have kept their relation under radar after being linked together back in April 2023. During that time, insiders have revealed that Kylie has slowly started to pull back from her wider social circle and has turned into a homebody, much like her famously reclusive older brother, Rob Kardashian. Kylie is turning into Rob. She is choosing to be a homebody for the most part, a source exclusively revealed to the Daily Mail. For Kylie, it is her family, her kids, and then obviously she is it, she is all in on hanging out with Timothy. The mother of two is said to have lost all interest in trying to keep up appearances with industry pals. As the insider continued, time for going out and doing the Hollywood friendship thing is long past her. She is 27 going on 70. What suits her now is being out there when she needs to be, not because she wants to be. She is so busy with her relationship and being a mom and a businesswoman. The source added she doesn't miss her times in the Hollywood shuffle and her desire to have friends outside her bubble isn't anything she's interested in right now. A second source explained that only Kylie's best friend Anastasia Stasi has remained in constant communication with the Kylie Cosmetics founder. Kylie has become increasingly detached and pretty much only has one close girlfriend right now, Stasi. The source began, she is her ride or die, and the two of them confide in each other for everything. The insider explained that Stassi was the person whom Kylie trusted the most at this point in her life. As they continued, they've been friends since they were in middle school and grew up learning how to adapt to fame together. Stassi knows that most people do not know who she is and she doesn't care. Indeed, Kylie is said to love the fact that Stassi is the one friend who can who she can completely trust as the source said she is the only person that Kylie turns to and the only person that has had her back no matter what and not burned her. Kylie has shut all of her other friends. She is with Timothy as much as possible but spends most time with Stassi than him even. Okay, so let's talk about this best friend because I'm gonna tell you something, girl. As long as she's not shutting down her friends and leaving her big circle groups because of a man, then I think that's okay. 
the older you get, the more private you want to be, girl. I don't want all these crazy people in my life. I do not want, you know, I, first of all, listen, I completely understand, you know, Kylie. Imagine being that famous, that rich, that, you know, um, I mean, in that such huge platform, there's going to be so many people that want something from you. So many people that have their secret shady agendas. So many people seeing what can it benefit them to have a friendship with you. So obviously you're not going to trust nobody. And I'm sure they have been burned many times. So if I were Kylie, shit, I wouldn't have no friends either, bitch. I would have like kids, you know, I would have friends from middle school and I would have friends who, you know, who it would take time for me to open up to and it would take time for me to really trust. You're not going to get into my life that quickly. Listen, even me, I don't have what Kylie Jenner has, but I very much hold my privacy, my home and my time very highly. And I think we all should. I didn't do that before I started to love myself. I really just thought of myself so low. But the older I get, the more I start to understand that we all have to protect our space and our energy. And we all have to protect our, you know, intimacy and especially our home. I mean, I tell you this, best friend, I don't invite just anybody to my home. I mean, when I have parties or when we have any events here in my home, I have a very strong rule that I do not like plus ones. So if I don't know you, you're not coming to my house, best friend. That's as simple as that. I actually had to cut a friend because they, could, they couldn't go anywhere without a plus one, some random they're dating. And I had to cut them out of my life and say, I'm so sorry, but you know, these are these are my boundaries. These are my rules. If you want to come to my house, they would say yes. They wouldn't, and then they would end up showing up with a person. And they did that to me four times. And after the fourth, I was like, they're done. And listen, it's not because I think I'm the shit or I'm important or anything like that. I, nothing at all, girl. But we have to protect our space. We have to protect our boundaries, and we have to protect our home. And we can't just let anybody into our lives. So you got to be very selectful, selective when it comes to bringing people into your life. And imagine having billions of dollars in the bank and being a damn Kardashian Jenner. People are going to want so much from you. So of course you have to be extra careful. Um, <clears throat> I do feel like, of course, you know, if the article was about like her leaving her friends because all she wants to do is spend time with Timothy, I would say, girl, that's not healthy, right? It's not healthy. It's not healthy to do that. But at the same time, I do think that it's important to, you know, she has two children, she has an empire. You know, you don't need 15 friends around you all the time. You don't need, you know, the drama of Hollywood. You just don't need that. So um, listen, best friend, my advice is be selective. Be, be cautious of who you let in your life. Be very careful. Don't let just anybody into your life. Um, I tell you, you know, my husband will tell you I'm the hardest person to, to become friends with because I simply just don't trust anybody. And, um, and you know, I have to really get to know you to really let you in. And again, it's not because I think I'm anything, but I just don't have the mental capacity to be burned again. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't have it in me to go through that again. So it has made me into a person that is very tough to crack into. So in that kind of sense, I really understand Kylie. Um, but it is also important, my husband always says, it is important to also trust people, but I can't, girl. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think this is something negative that Kylie is doing? I personally don't because I think very similar and if I were a Kardashian with that much of money and living in, in, in Los Angeles, oh girl, I mean, you would be lucky if I had one friend, bitch, because the, I mean, it is scary out here how many people want something from you, want to use you. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this week is gonna be very blessed. I hope you guys have a fabulous week. And listen, best friend, if you want more Trader Joe's finds, let me know in the comments because Trader Joe's, I love so much. I go about once a week to get some essentials. And you know what, best friends? It's cheap. This huge bag of, of crackers is $2.
The hummus, look how big that is. It's like $3.99. The chimichurri was like, was like $4, but it's a very affordable thing. So let me know if you want more hauls, girl. You know, I give you tea, I give you advice, I give you recommendations, I'm a, I'm a everything. So anyways, I love you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.